Hello, it's Rachel. Today's project is going to be a mini star book, so called because when the pages are folded they form a star shape. To begin with, I've taken some Prima watercolour paper and I've cut this at a size of 8 by 12 centimetres. These are going to be the inside pages that are decorated and I've chosen to use some watercolour paints over these. This is the watercolour confection set in the classic colours and the colour that I'm using is a brown colour, it's actually shade number 10. I'm also applying the colour onto dampened watercolour paper and I've used the Prima watercolour brush to do this. Now that the pages have dried and there are seven pages in total, you can see they have a very subtle brown um, colouring, almost an aged or antique effect on them. After this I'm switching to some Art Alchemy paint from Prima and I'm applying this with the quarter inch Art Basics brush. The colours I've chosen here are two different shades of pink, one is from the metallic range and it is the Vintage Rose and the other one is the Butterfly Spells from the New Sparks collection. I'm adding the paint just around the edges of each of the watercolour pieces and this will act as a frame for the rest of the design. Now that the paint has dried, I'm just showing you how much it does sparkle. This is mostly from the Sparks paint, which was the Butterfly Spells and in real life it is even more sparkly. The next thing I want to do is add some stamping to these pages, so I've chosen a stamp set that has some small hearts in it and I'm using two of these stamps, the item number is 992125 from Prima and to begin with I've chosen the small single stamp. I'm using this with the vintage rose paint and although you can't see um, because it's off camera I'm actually sponging the paint onto the stamp so that it doesn't get too saturated and the image that is stamped is actually um, very crisp and clear so for that application I was just using a piece of Ranger cut and dry foam. Now I'm taking a second stamp this one is by Stamping Up from a set called Itty Bitty Backgrounds unfortunately it is discontinued but there are plenty of alternative stamps that you could create this effect with or you could just use your paintbrush and add some splatters directly to the card. The paint that I used for that was again the Vintage Rose from the Art Alchemy Metallics. Now I'm using a second stamp from the same stamp set, this time I've chosen to stamp in Archival Link in Potting Soil and I've used the stamp to create a border along the top and the bottom of the page and then I use the same archival link to edge the page all the way around. The next step is to score all of the pages created on the watercolour paper down the centre, so I'm using a score pal and a bone folder to do this. These are the other card pieces that are needed to form the pages. This is Basil cardstock in two colours. The dark brown is Java and the cream colour is vanilla. The page measurements on these are as follows. The dark brown colour is 10 centimetres by 14 and the vanilla colour is 9 centimetres by 13. And again you need seven pages of each colourway. To start assembling the star book I've added double sided tape down the two shortest sides of the vanilla coloured basil cardstock and behind that is the largest piece of the book that is the dark brown and you need to pull the centre piece, the cream one, across so that it stretches to the very edge and as you can see there is a gap between the pages. I'll just show you that one more time. So the double sided tape goes down the two shortest sides and then you take that right up to the edge of the two shortest sides on your largest or outer page of the book. So there is no border at the edges at all on the shortest sides, only on the top and the bottom of the book. For the inside watercoloured pages that I've prepared, I'm going to add some different positive quotes. So I've used my labelling machine to print some off and to make sure they will take a layer of paint, I'm adding some Prima soft matte gel to each of these. 
Once the layer of soft matte gel has dried, I'm adding some colour and I'm going back to the Art Alchemy paint and this is the Vintage Rose. So I'm just adding a light layer of this in order that it will add some colour but not obscure the words. I've used a paper trimmer to cut the quotes down and I'm now going to edge those with some of the archive link in potting soil and to apply this I'm using a piece of Ranger cut and dry foam. Now I'm ready to add my quotes to each of the seven pages that will make up my star book. These are self-adhesive labels so it's easy enough to um, adhere them down once I've arranged how I'd like them on the pages. And when the centre pages are ready, they are applied to the rest of the star book in exactly the same way as we put together the outer pages. So it's applying some self-adhesive tape down the two shortest edges and then stretching it over so that it is flush with the vanilla cardstock. Again, this creates no border at the side on the shortest edges, but it does create a layered effect and a small border on the top and the bottom of the book. To attach the pages together so that they form the completed star book, you again take some double-sided tape along the shortest edges and you stack the pages one on top of the other. So you can see here that I've got the tape on the shortest edge, I'm taking the second page, making sure that the text is the right way around and just attaching them with that tape. And you would carry on doing this until you've got all the pages together and the final two pages you need to leave open, so don't attach it all the way around because the next thing to work on would be some covers for the book. Before I create those covers however, I'm going to add something to tie the book together. So this is some Gypsy Cud by Prima and from this I've chosen a pink and a beige colour to act as the closure. I'm just using some double sided tape to tape a length of cord onto both the front and the back of the book. This will be covered by the um, front and the back cover that we're going to create next. For the covers of the book, I'm going to use a combination of patterned paper and some watercolour paper. This is the Prima Wild and Free collection in the A4 size and I'm just doing a flip through of the pages here if you haven't seen this collection before so that you can have a good idea of what this collection looks like. I've chosen two pieces of butterfly patterned paper and I'm going to adhere these to some pieces of chipboard so that they are a little more robust. I'm applying it using some of the soft matte gel and I'm also using a 3 quarter inch Art Basics brush by Prima. The pages and the chipboard have both been cut at 10 by 14 centimeters so they are the same size as the largest piece of paper in our star book that was the um, dark brown colored paper in order that the covers match the rest of the star book i'm taking some of the archive link in potting soil and i'm edging both the front and the back cover with this 
now I'm taking another piece of the Prima watercolour paper and I'm going to give it the same treatment as the inside pages so I'm starting by dampening the page and adding some of the brown colour from the watercolour confection set that was colour number 10 and then I'm also adding some of the Art Alchemy paints and following this with some stamped hearts. Whilst that watercolour paper is drying, I'm attaching both the front and the back covers. So this time I'm putting double sided tape on all four sides of the paper and it will cover up that gypsy cord and keep those ties in place. So now that my watercolour paper has dried, I'm going back to the stamping as I said I would and I'm using the Art Alchemy paint and just sponging the paint onto my stamp using a piece of Ranger cut and dry foam. And I'm creating the cover in this way so that it is going to match the inside pages. To embellish the front cover I'm using two different Prima products, this is the metallic wax in the colour rose gold and I'm going to add this to one of the Finnebar mechanicals, these are the tin hearts and I've chosen the larger heart and I also select two of the very tiny hearts to add to my cover and I apply the wax to all three hearts and for this I just use my finger. Here I'm just showing you a comparison of the two hearts, one has the wax applied and obviously the other one is still the silver colour. And to finish off I'm adding my piece of watercolour paper to the front of the star book and I'm also going to add my hearts. However before I add the largest heart I'm going to add some modelling paste from the Art Basics line to this, I'm using the one inch silicone brush. Um, to apply this and this is so that I can fill in that gap and there's going to be a flat surface to which I can apply my adhesive. I do actually leave this um, overnight to dry because that's quite a, a deep area for the um, modelling paste and I wanted to make sure that it was fully dry and set before adding it to my star book. So now it is the next day and the last thing to do on my project is to add those hearts. For this I'm using Glossy Accents by Ranger. I hope you've enjoyed watching this project. You can make Starbucks a variety of different sizes and you can embellish them in lots of different ways. So I hope this has given you some inspiration to try this for yourself. Thanks for watching.